There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey you guys, it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be a synthetic lace front by Outre. This is the perfect hairline. And as you guys see, she is loaded with baby hairs. And the color that I have is called Cajun Spice. First off, let's just get into the fake scalp and the pre-sewn black elastic band. Plus it also comes with the normal combs and adjustable strap in the nape. The hair is like a yakky texture. Make sure you have tools on hand so that way you can hold the hair out of your face and way when you decide to cut the lace. The lace is not a transparent lace, but there's so many different ways to work around this. You can always use a tinting spray. You can also use your pressed powder or foundation. The hair that I did show you that I just cut off was over the ear tab. I did customize the unit to fit properly, so that way it can just lay a lot flusher to my scalp. ladies love sideburns and you want to do this method it's always optional I love sideburns and sometimes they'll also do like a little flyaway or wispy hairs in the front that always helps to kind of camouflage the hairline if your lace is not that great or is a little bit noticeable as I showed you guys this unit does come with baby hairs in the front perimeter they may be a little long as you see here but it's always up to you of how long you want them. So you're always more than welcome to go ahead and cut them down to size or length that you prefer. I also find just parting in the front hairline a great method to applying your unit. Now me, I don't like my baby hairs or wispy hairs too long, so I will cut and trim them. The scissors that I'm using are actually called thread snips which makes cutting so much easier. Girls know I love this styling mousse. It's always available at your local Dollar Tree for only a dollar. And this mousse has been around for quite some years and it's also really great for styling any type of baby hairs, flyaway hairs, sideburn hairs, and such. It doesn't leave your hair hard or crunchy. Also, it does not lift your wig up. The hairspray that I am using to adhere the unit is the bedhead, and you can always get this on Amazon, which I find a lot cheaper than versus going to any type of beauty supply store or large box store. When brushing my hairline, I try to brush it in a slanted type of curvage style. That way I don't have a straight blunt hairline across my forehead. This gives it a little bit more natural appearance as well as not so noticeable to the eye. And that's the same thing that I also do to the sides of my lace units, whether it's synthetic or human hair. I always try to brush in a slanted motion so that way the hairline isn't so straight and blunt across. Just to adhere the unit, or rather the baby hairs, or the flyaways or wispy hairs, I always use my black elastic band, which will give me a hold while I'm styling this unit. I'm doing a blow drying method, which I like to do to kind of make the hair a lot more straighter in the front hairline area. This is synthetic hair, and you can always use heat to these units, 
but I prefer to use my blow drying heat because it's not directly heat scorching the hair. Sometimes when using too much heat directly applied to any synthetic hair can change the texture and also the longevity of the unit. Do you girls see the colors in this lace wig? Very pretty and it's also 13 by 6 which gives you plenty of parting space. And do you see the fake scalpage, the realness of this unit? It gives you a very natural scalp appearance. Now because it's a 13 by 6 there are many different things that you can do with the unit. Once again, I'm going to be just flatting the hair with my blow dryer just to allow it to lay a lot more flatter. And just for some added protection, I did use a wax stick. Now you can see some of the lace, which is not a transparent color. That's why I said you can always use your makeup or I would prefer a tinting spray, which gives you a more natural look. But for this particular video, I'm just going to dab on a little bit of my makeup. She's very natural. You can definitely pull her up on the sides if you want to keep her away from your face. Make sure you play around with the lace to get the perfect color. I'll definitely link all of the information down below for Sam's Beauty where you can catch this wig along many other different units, hair tools, weaving hair, braiding hair, and more. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next one.